As Nick mentioned, there were injuries and we've made calls this morning to get updated information on those taken to the hospital after the train collision. Lana Harris continues our team coverage with those details. Yes, we just received new numbers from Tammy Epps with the Palmetto Health System, and she says that yes, there were 62 people total. Six of them are still admitted in Palmetto Health hospitals. Two of the six are in critical condition, two are in serious condition, one is in fair condition, and one is in good condition. 48 of them, you'll remember, went to the Palmetto Health Richland Hospital on Medical Park Drive yesterday. I was told that between all of their hospitals, 59 have been treated or evaluated and triaged and released. Um, we're hearing that there were three children involved. Yesterday we were reporting two, but those new numbers say that there were three children involved. Yesterday we were reported that they had minor injuries and were also released. We spoke with Dr. Eric Brown yesterday with Palmetto Health, and he said that the injuries were mostly minor scrapes and bruises, but had also had those few with broken bones and internal organ injuries. We're going to keep monitoring the situation and bring you any more updates as we get them. In the studio, Lana Harris, News 19 WLTX.